Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back every day. We are on Walt Disney World property. Sure. Happy birthday. Walt Disney World, yeah. sorry, your party's so lame. <laughs> the Michael Scott quote I saw on Twitter today. Yeah. Such a bittersweet time. It is, but we're gonna try to enjoy a resort tonight and just chill and read some books, enjoy some resort atmosphere, fingers crossed. We shall see. Okay, you have like a minute or so of the vlog to guess where we're going. It's probably going to be in the title, so this might be a pointless shot. <laughs> Actually, I control what the title of the vlog is, and so I'm not going to include it in the title of the vlog. Um, but it is a Magic Kingdom Resort, and any other clues? It's one of four resorts. Well, that's a Magic Kingdom. Wait, I've got a good clue. It's a resort that we have had a, res a reservation at since COVID and has oh. one of our favorite waterfront views. <laughs> Do you know from these stairs where we are? Or where someone slipped here or something right here? <laughs> we're a wilderness line. Last time I was here it was three in the morning almost. <laughs> Ah, the best lobby in all the land. The joy, the magic, the hope, just all around perfection. The stream of all streams, the pools of all pools, the resorts of all resorts. We've come to relax, to read. Yeah, it's like low 80s. It's not as cool as yesterday, but it's nice. As long as the breeze continues, We'll be set. Where should we sit and read first? Right down by the water? Yes. By Bay Lake? Yes. I was hoping for a sunset, but it's pretty cloudy. Ooh, I think they're making tie-dye shirts over there. Ooh. What the heck? We went the wrong way. <laughs> we act like we know this place, but this is a fun little secret outlook. Yeah, we've actually I've never been there. First spot of the night on the shores of Bay lake i'm trying to convince her to go lay in that grass over there should we i think we should there's just no back support here i know and if we lay on the ground your back is supported right everywhere we go now we're like is this the last time we'll be here without dates i've been scouring stuff. dvc availability for a one night stay for the next two three yeah. weeks because our plan is to like be productive this next week like really productive and then we'll be able to relax before it comes Maybe. <laughs> Look at how gorgeous the sunset is over there. Bay Lake or Seven Seas Lagoon. Bay Lake all day. Bay Lake all day. I love Seven Seas Lagoon, but like... Bay Lake all day. The fire never started and I looked for a button to figure it out. I think it's protected over there, but we've been here for like over an hour? Yeah, been doing some good reading. Yeah. Some empowering things about C-sections in this year book. I've been reading some stuff about the American diet and how I think we're changing it. Our American diet. <laughs> Farmland in America needs some changing. So. Well, and that's the thing is if we change our diet for the better, it'll also change the farmland for better. For the better. There you go. I mean, it's not drastic to what we've been talking about. It's One just less more whole-based right. and not processed, which means it's not soy just... or corn being aware of where we're getting our food from. Yeah. Like, this is the best resort. It truly is the, the best. best one. But what does it mean? This is a cool Jack notebook. The first page has his 
like blackboard on it, but then it's just a lined notepad. I still think we need to get this before the season's over. Yeah, because it's going to be gone. I didn't that's not, know. That's not a coffee mug. That's for me. This is a beer. beer. Yeah, this is a beer stein <laughs> via Pacific Northwest. Okay, how come this fire's going? But sidebar, Sarah may have just found hospital slippers, but they are sparkly, and we're not I'm just sure how we feel about, about that. Sparkles. I'm like torn between wanting like shoes to wear in a shower and then like comfy shoes. I mean, I guess I could wear both. Yeah, both. Let's make them both versatile. I kind of like those ones. Those are cute. You are an oven. Sarah's complaining about being toasted. I'm complaining about being cold. I'm also lounge. Look at the, like this lobby. The music has altered my running schedule. It's got me in a mood to just relax on the couch with Sarah and my puppy when we get home and watch a solid movie. Sarah's team Hocus Pocus. I'm team Little Women. Sarah says we should put on Little Women tomorrow during the work day. I said when I'm in my meetings. So. If we need to leave because we have to, oh, I'm not even in focus. We need to leave because we're supposed to go to the grocery store, so maybe we can get an actually good cider, not that caramel garbage that we got before. But I just like, for people who appreciate the Disney Resort, I think, I mean, like overall, Wilderness Lodge is my favorite, but I think it hands down as the best lobby music, especially now that the orchestra isn't at Grand Floridian, there's not even competition. Wilderness Lodge Lobby has the best soundtrack of any Dis Disney resort ever. This is Actually, it has the best... Yeah, it is. It has the best lobby music of any resort hotel in the world, minus when Peter Brookhart worked front desk at the JW Marriott Chicago third shift, and I started playing music into our sound system. What you chose is better than this. In the lobby. Because I chose... I would probably, I'd probably just put on Sorcerer Radio. <laughs> well, I think we're gonna go, right? You can't see my frowny face, but I have a frowny face on. This is the view. As of right now, I don't even know if we've announced this, but if we haven't, we are right now. As of right now, unless we book something, which I don't think we will, post James' arrival, we already have a booking of four nights stay here after James arrives. In the main building, the Capper Creek. Around the holidays. It's so cool. I can't I'm, believe it. I'm trying to still find something for us to do a one night before James is here, but I don't think because we actually had this booked pretty soon after he's born. Just time flies between the end of the year, the holidays, and uh, our first child being born. I like the rest of 2020 is going to be gone in a blip of a second. We interrupt the end of the vlog sequence because. There's lights coming from the castle. I'm trying to get a photo, but there's light right here is blocking it. Do you see it? Okay. I don't know if we're gonna see it, but to the right side of this bush. There goes running. It was in the parking lot. Oh, I didn't even see it. Okay. To, the, to the left of that tree that you're seeing. Mm -hmm. But to the right of that small speck of silence is an exit. Ooh. I can't see it, but maybe. Maybe the camera can pick it up. It's a around. little baby deer. Uh, that's a good two-gauge gypsy. Can you see it now? It's in between, in between that tree and that exit there. I cannot. It's still there. It's looking right at us. Looking away. Walking oh, I saw right. it. I just, Walking I just, right. yeah, I saw a movement. Walking to the right. We, we sometimes, we actually more often than not get lucky seeing deer leaving this parking lot. Yeah. Because it's so close One to the One time somebody wilderness. posted that they saw an alligator. In the parking lot? Uh-huh. We're on this road. I've had two traumatic deer incidents in the car as a child. And so this kind of visual always freaks me out, but I just am happy we're, we're going slow. We're going slow to avoid that. We need to make it to the grocery store We'll have to go another day. Without toilet paper. We'll have to go tomorrow morning. Yeah, we'll go tomorrow. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. 
Happy birthday to you, Kaylee. Happy birthday, Kaylee. Kaylee oh. Earhart's birthday is like when you're watching this. Um, today. Yeah, so you're watching today. So here's October. a fun clip of us having a lot of fun. Yeah, so you're so lucky to have like be with her on her birthday last year here visiting. Eve wants my noodle. Um, but we'll put in a fun clip of her birthday last year. My dear friend Kaylee, happy birthday. Well, I've actually never like looked at their funny faces in this screen okay, still. Who, uh, us three, who is who? Oh, um, Eve, Sarah, me. Yeah. Um, we have pumpkin, pumpkin pie dessert hummus. What are these called? Graham, Graham crackers, hocus pocus, and a beggar, beggar, Beggar. <laughs> Sit. I love you. <laughs> this is Halloween time. But did we fall asleep on the couch? Yes, we did. Oh, I get to steal the odds. Goodbye, September. Wake me up. When September ends. Long message. You know, it's not that long. It's by Ralph Waldo Emerson. Guard well your spare moments. They are like uncut diamonds. Discard them and their value will never be known. Improve them and they will become the brightest gems in a useful life. Today's message. Hans Christian Andersen. Life itself is the most wonderful fairy tale. Well, ain't that the truth? There is a sleep on that couch. But this little girl's awake. So together we're gonna say in the count of three, Eve, okay? One, two. It's good to be home. Ready for bed? Same. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.